What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my face again. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be showing you what it will make a difference. So today, I'm going to be showing you what it's like to be an Uber driver. Um, today, we're not going to be picking up people. We're just going to be doing food deliveries. Yes. So here's the app, I got it open. If you wanna go online, you just hit go. And what's cool about Uber is that you can go on and offline anytime you want. This shows you, it shows you where I am, but it also shows you what it's like, how popular it is right now. This right here shows you, I just have deliveries on, Uber X, that's off. And yeah, so today we're gonna just gonna go and see how many food deliveries we get. I'm probably not going to Uber too, too long today. I'm just going to show you guys what it's like and the, get the gist of it and see how much money we can make probably in like four hours or something. We'll see. I don't know. Right now, it is 12.09. I'm about to go online and yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's go online. All right, yep, open to a few trips. Um, usually... And the app it will show you all oh, you see right here. This is a hot spot right here. Now, <clears throat> I'm assuming you can get a dollar more here on this hot spot, but <clears throat> where we are right now, there's nothing usually going on. It really depends on your city and stuff like that. A few tips with Uber, um, especially with Uber Eats, make sure you eat something because you're gonna be picking up food that just smells so good and you're gonna want to eat it so make sure you eat something yeah <laughs> so I do have an insulated bag this is DoorDash I do DoorDash and I did lift oh I used to do lift and stuff but it's always good to have an insulated bag so when you're traveling from the restaurant to the person's house the food stays warm you don't need that technically and they don't give you one for uber when you sign up but it's good to have because People, when you get your food and it's warm, they're more likely going to tip you. <laughs> also, another few tips for when you are Ubering, either Uber Eats or Ubering people, it's good to dress nice. Right now, I'm not dressed too nice because I am going to the gym later. So, yeah, and I'm only Ubering for a little bit. But it's good to dress nice because people feel like more, what's the word? Like, they, they feel better, especially, how, how would you feel if somebody was delivering your food dressed all, like, sloppy and stuff? It's, it, it'll feel more comfortable and feel more clean that you're all clean and you're delivering their food, you know what I mean? So it's good to dress nice and you're more likely to get tips. Maybe if you like this video, we could dress up really nice and see how many tips we get. <laughs> so it's now 12.32. It's been about, like, 20 minutes. Still haven't gotten any orders yet. I'm just chilling in my car watching Netflix. Um, when you do Uber or Uber Eats, you're gonna be doing a lot of sitting, especially if you do just Uber Eats. Um, usually like around dinner or lunchtime. Right now it's lunchtime, so we should be getting a few orders soon. Um, but usually lunch and dinner are the hot spot, especially dinner. But when you Uber, find yourself like a good parking like parking lot or something and just like chill that's really what it's really like <laughs> but yeah let's see if we can like go to order soon so we got a order so it looks like we're going to a mexican grill awesome so i'll drive there pick up the food and show you how it goes let's get it all right, we're here. I got to the restaurant. I'm about to go in and get the food. I would bring you guys with me, but that would be kind of awkward. So I'm going to go in, get the food, and then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I just picked up the food. The food is in my bag. What's really cool about Uber is that it, show, it gives you, like, who it is, the number. It's pretty simple. Everything, how to go about when picking up the order. So when you do have it, you click on it, and then you just hit start delivery. 
and then the so Street. it's 11 minutes um so yeah you just drop the food off it's pretty simple um you just go into the restaurant you give the name they might ask for the order number just in case and you hand them they hand you the food the food's already paid for on like postmates postmates you get a card but this food's already paid for it so it's easy you just pick it up drop it off that's why i like uber eats so yeah let's go deliver this food <laughs> Here's a tip for when delivering food. When you're delivering food, there is usually when you click on the person's like order, it tells you where they are. It tells you instructions. So either you, they want you to bring it to them or they want you to wait in the car. Sometimes I forget to look at that and I try, go to get out of the car and they're like coming towards me and I'm like, wait, what? So yeah, make sure you take a look at it. Right now, it looks like we're going to a medical center. Um, so these are tricky when you're delivering to offices because offices is like they can't leave some some of them do some of them like are waiting outside for you so you don't have to go inside and hunt them down but normally you have to go inside and you have to hunt them down and it's a pain in the ass because sometimes you can have two orders and you're too busy trying to you're too busy on this one order and you're trying to find the person and it's like shit I got another order to do you know so that uber has to fix that or people just if you're watching this and you deliver Uber Eats, you order Uber Eats, make sure the instructions are clear, especially if you're in a apartment building or something like that because we're not we're not from where you are. Like it's it's so hard. Like even offices buildings, like how am I what floor are you on? What where are you? Who do I give it to? You know? So that that it's it's a pain in the ass, but yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, seems like we're pulling up. It looks like this massive building right here is where we're going. Um, yeah, so hopefully this person is outside. I'm reading the instructions. It says deliver to door. So yeah, this should be interesting. I'm pulling up right now. Everyone's outside in like doctor outfits and stuff. Uh, See, I'm over here. I'm trying to figure out, like, where am I going? Where am I going to park? Because that's the hardest part is finding, like, parking and where everyone's going. Oh, snap. Maybe I can go. So I'm pulling up front right now. I have no clue where I'm going. Yo, see, this is... This is what's crazy about Uber Eats because I have no clue where I'm going or what, what I'm doing right now. I'm at a hospital. This is gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to call this person because I'm not paying for parking. So yeah, let's call this person. Uh, I gotta find a place to park. Oh my God, yo, this is so annoying. All right, so right now I'm parked on the side of the street. I'm gonna call this person and see where I can drop the food off. Actually, let's just go to the front first and then, yeah. <laughs> she might be there. So right now I'm dropping off. your uber driver i'm in one of the lobbies um wait am i oh <laughs> hey i had no clue oh i passed right by here you go sorry about that have a good day so crazy about that order is I, I just dropped it off. You guys saw me call her. She was actually standing right out front. I didn't even realize. I thought it was her, but I didn't want to like be like, hey, are you this person? So, but yeah, I dropped the food off. So now we sleep delivered. So, delivered. So for that trip, I got five dollars and fifty-five cents. That was that ride was eleven minutes. So if you guys can roughly guess, eleven minutes, I make about five bucks. So yeah, it's not too much, but it's it's extra cash. Now with most people with Uber, some people will stay where they are right after the order, so they save gas. Um, but usually what I like to do is I like to head back to my spot, like where I'm usually from, so I know the area a little bit more. 
Um, also, right now, the area where I am is not the best area to be in. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm gonna go back. Oh, look, there is an ambulance. Is it gonna come? Very slowly. But yeah, that, that one is, that was a great example of how hard this is to track people down. Like, I had to go to a hospital of all freaking places, and all it said was medical center, so it was hard because it was like six different buildings that said medical center on it, so I had to call in just to make sure, but surprisingly, she was literally right, literally right, I walked right past her, so that was good. That was easy. So yeah, now we just, I'm going to drive back to my usual, like, rest spot. So I could just chill and I'll wait for another order. So as I was driving, I just got another order. So we are currently on our way to a diner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yo, look at this car. Yo, this car got messed up. Oh my God, that is so crazy. Holy crap. That's wild. There was a baby seat in the back of that car. Oh my god, and the baby seat was just full of the airbag. Like the airbag just went boom to the baby. Oh my god, that is so crazy. All right guys, I'm on my second location. I'm at the diner. What's really cool also about this app is you can see what people ordered. Um, you just go to the three tab, three little lines right there. You click on pick up, click on delivery, and it shows you. It looks like she just ordered a cheeseburger, so it's not a lot. Um, but yeah, let's go pick this up. Alright guys, you see I took off my sweater. I was getting hot. So I got the food. It's in the bag. You know, you gotta keep it warm. Um, so now we're off. Let's see how long this trip is. Seven minutes. So, it could range. Who knows? Also, what's cool about Ubers now is they now introduced, um, traffic and weather, we weather inclements. So if there's traffic, there's more time added and you get paid more. So yeah, it's cool. <laughs> All right guys, I made it to my second location. This location, it just, it's 263, but it's just where it is. So that means I have to find it once again. So I'm not gonna bring the camera this time because I'm just gonna make it in and out and I'll tell you how it is once I find it, so yeah. All right guys, I'm back. I dropped it off, it was really cool. It was right down the stairs. It was in a theater, so it was really cool. I like to see it. Um, so, so far I got 1031, so that means I got like $5 and some change for that ride, which is pretty good. And she also gave me like $2 cash as a tip, which is, which is good, you know, it's $2 that you didn't have. So, <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just waiting for another order. I probably won't record these next few orders unless they're like interesting. <laughs> also, I want to show you guys a house order and what it's like going to a house. So far, we've been to a lot of businesses because it is lunchtime. Um, it's 1:44 p.m. and so far it's been an hour and like an hour and 20 minutes, and I made only ten dollars. So that, that's what sucks. Like sometimes some days are good and some days are bad. Today is a Tuesday. Tuesdays I find not to be the best for Uber Eats. Um, usually Mondays are pretty good. Fridays, um, the weekends are pretty good. And really bad weather days. <laughs> I know it's bad to be driving in really bad weather, but those seem like to be the best days because that's when nobody wants to go out. Um, I bet you for like rides and stuff, if you're going to do rides, it's you're going to make a really good amount of money on this type of day because you're going to be busy giving people rides. And in between giving rides, you give people orders. So yeah, so if I get a house order next time, then I will show you guys what it's like doing a house order. Um, it's basically the same. You're just going up to a house. But yeah, I'm going to go back to my parking spot. <laughs> Also, what I love about Uber Eats is, or just Uber in general, is that you get to see different types of places. Like, it's it's really cool, like seeing around like different type of places in your state and stuff. So yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> What's up, guys? So it's been probably a half hour. Uh, yeah, it's been about a half hour since I got since my last ride. So I took like a two two minute break and I got a iced tea from Dunkin'. Uh, but that's what's really cool about Uber is that you can stop anytime you want. Now with DoorDash, 
DoorDash is in hour increments. So you have to Uber within that hour. I mean, not Uber. You have to dash within that hour. Also with Lyft, Lyft is really cool. Lyft, you can stop and go on, stop whenever you want, and you go on whenever you want. But DoorDash, if you ever think about DoorDash on Postmates, it's a little bit different. Um, but yeah. Also, another cool thing that Uber just started recently is they have a point system. Let me see if I can pull it up for you guys. Um, but for the point system, is that the amount of rides that you do you accumulate points. So currently for this month, I have 184 points. It says, I have a little arrow, you see it right there, 184 points. I have a little thingy there because of cancel trips. People cancel trips on me and it looks like I canceled the trip. So I got, I'm like getting like in trouble for that. But that is nothing, nothing really bad happens about that. It just kinda, when people cancel trips on you, that's what's... <laughs> so here, here's what happens when people cancel trips on you in this new update. So before when people used to cancel trips on you, it wasn't your fault. So now when people cancel trips on you, no, Uber doesn't notify you and they gotta fix that. So I'll go pick up the food. This is what happened. I went to go pick up the food and I went to go drop it off and Uber didn't tell me that they canceled the trip and the person who I've been trying to reach out to didn't pick up. So I had to cancel the trip myself and i had to drive back to the restaurant and be like i don't know what to do with this food um and usually when that happens the restaurant will just tell you to keep the food and that's hey you get to keep the food but i didn't want it it was fast food um and then i had to cancel the trip so it looks like i canceled it and it looks bad on my part so that's like an issue that they have to fix that's why it looks like that but with the point system though which is really cool is that with a certain amount of points, let me see, Uber. So now with a certain, it has something like this. Oh my gosh. Let me let me turn the camera around so you guys can see. All right. So the, as a point system right here, my acceptance rate and stuff. Oh look, my cancel rate went down. My acceptance rate, oh, because I didn't accept one ride. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. Usually when Uber, when they give you a ride, they tell you how much you're going to make. And you have to, like, calculate that with your gas and stuff and see if it's even worth it, you know? Are you really going to do a ride that's worth $3 if you have to travel, you know? But right now, I'm in Blue, Blue Rewards, and you get and you get $15 cash back on gas, 24-7 road assistance, which is cool. It's like AAA. And then the more rides you do, you get gold. And then look at that, you can even go 100% tuition coverage for school. If you're looking to do online school or something like that. And Platinum, you can you could earn uh, a vacation giveaway and stuff like that. And it, it just goes on. This right here is an Uber Visa card. I have one of these, which is awesome. It's so, usually when you um, cash out the money that you made, it's usually, if you want to do it to your debit card, it is um, 50 cents. Um, but with the Uber card, it's free. I kind of use my Uber card as like my emergency fund. Like I do Uber for like extra cash, so it's not something that I need to deposit in my debit card unless I need it. Um, so that's why I have my Uber card. So if I don't, if I'm going out to eat somewhere, I'll just use an Uber card if I have cash on it than using my cash from work. Um, so that's what's cool about Uber. There's a lot of cool things that they're doing with Uber. Um, and it's, it's really awesome. And also, for people who don't feel like Uber is safe, there's been a lot of instances with Uber being really sketchy. Um, this right here, that little shield, I don't know if, if it will focus. Come on now. See that little shield right there? That little shield, if you press that, it automatically calls 911, which is really cool if you're in a situation. But for me, I also carry a knife. I always have a knife on me. I always have some type of something on me. Some people might have pepper spray or like mace, or is that the same thing, pepper spray, whatever. Um, but I have always have a knife on me. I always have something on me just in case I'm in a situation. Cause I'm, I'm not always in good neighborhoods. And that's what sucks about Uber is that you're putting yourself out there, especially when picking up people, you're putting yourself out there and putting random ass people in your car or going to random people's houses. You know what I mean? And it's really sketchy, you know, don't know what's going to happen. But I feel like, you know, it, for me, I, I have been Ubering for a couple of years now. 
I've been Ubering, I've been Lyft, I do like all, I've met have people, I've driven people. I've never come, like knock on wood, I've never come with any type of instance where I was dealing with any weird people or any stuff like that. Usually the people who I pick up, if it's car, I'm usually picking up older people coming off trains or like kids and high schoolers going to work and stuff. So maybe that's just my area, but I haven't picked up any sketchy people. Now, it's like 2.13 right now. I've been Ubering for, let's see, I don't, I can't, like an hour and some change or something like that. It's really not that long. Maybe close to two hours. Um, and I made only, I made, oh, I, I got a tip. I made $13 today. Remember last time I said I made 10 something? Let's see, let's see. It'll let you know. Oh, Uber's a little slow, but usually it will notify you when you got a tip. And I got a tip, so it looks like I got a $3 tip on top of the $2 too, so that's cool, that's cool. Um, so it's awesome, so now in an hour and a half, not even, hour and a half, a little, maybe close to two hours, and you know, you know what I'm talking about, I own, I made 13 bucks, so, so, which is cool, for some extra cash, if you need gas or something. Yes, so another thing with gas, so right now, as you guys see, I'm in my parking lot area this is where I like to chill and hang out because my house is right there so if I want to stop I'll just go to my house or whatever so with gas here's what I do with uber you have to calculate with your car and how far and how long you want to uber so with me when I uber I try to put ten dollars worth of gas in so I have a better chance of making a profit now you could put twenty dollars in it depends on your car you could put twenty dollars in, fill that, fill that tank up almost, and do as many rides as you want. But for me, I like to do ten dollars because my car can last on ten dollars for a while, and I'll bang out like six to ten rides and make like thirty bucks, so I have a twenty dollar profit. You see what I mean? And then I'll do another ten dollars and make another twenty dollar profit, so I'll make forty dollar profit only twenty dollars. So if you do twenty dollars. You could be making more. I don't know. It, you guys got to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure that out with gas. But I try to stick to my parking area. So once I'm done doing a ride, I'll head back to where my usual spot is. And if I don't pick up anything around there, like another ride or another um, order, then I'll just head back to my spot and chill out to the next order. So I just had another order. Um, I didn't film it, which I really should have, um, cause this is another good example of when I had to cancel. I feel like everything is happening today when I'm filming. Um, but today, like I was saying, um, but what just happened was I went to Starbucks to go pick up an order. When I went inside, they said that this person ordered twice. You put in two of the same orders. So some people do that some people order back to back if they forgot something but they put in he put in two same orders so it just didn't seem right so i gave the guy a call he didn't pick up so what's really cool about uber is that you can message somebody on uber so i messaged him and i asked did you pick up did you order two orders of the same order i just wanted to make sure before starbucks made the drink he responded and said that he only meant to place it once so therefore i had to cancel the delivery See, I could have been a mean person and said that I picked up the order, dropped off the order for my time, basically, and got paid for that. But I didn't because that's kind of messed up and karma is a bitch, you know what I mean? Karma will get you for that. So I just canceled the order and now that goes towards my cancellation rate, you know? See, that that's, that's something like I wish they had different options for because it's not fair. If someone places two orders or someone cancels an order, it, it falls on the driver's part for having to cancel the order so that's that's crazy that that happened but yeah <laughs> what's up y'all so i'm gonna end the video here i'm about to go to the gym um i ubered for about two hours and i made 20 bucks so it's like ten dollars an hour usually i make more than that but you, today is a slow day and that's gonna happen but hopefully you guys like liked uber Hope you guys learned something and maybe you got, if you're thinking about trying Uber, I say definitely try it. It's a good way to make some money. If you don't want to interact with people, you can always just do Uber Eats, which is fun. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully you liked the video. Make sure to smash the like button and make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you really do, if you really like the video and you want to see more Uber stuff, make sure you, you smash the like button so I know. But yeah, peace.